Hi everyone, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to walk you through the steps of creating a shared folder on a Windows Server 2025 domain controller. Whether you are managing a small office network or a larger enterprise, this guide will help you set up file sharing across your organization securely and efficiently. Shared network folders are an excellent tool to allow your users to easily collaborate on files and folders without having to transfer them between each other using manual methods. While cloud-based file storage and sharing is becoming increasingly popular, the traditional network share won't be going anywhere anytime soon and is still the go-to for many organizations running on Active Directory. Before we dive into this tutorial, there is a few things you will need to have set up to be able to follow along. You must have an existing Active Directory environment, a server or domain controller running Windows Server 2025 and joined to your Active Directory domain. Though most steps will be nearly identical for previous versions. Sufficient storage space. For testing purposes, it may be helpful to have a test account with the same access privileges as your intended end users. Remember, folders can be shared but individual files cannot be shared directly. Here, I'll configure a shared folder from domain controller named DC01. I'm logged into our Windows Server 2025 domain controller and will go through this process step by step. In the previous videos, we created several users and group in our Active Directory domain. I'll use that group to configure permissions on the shared folder. Creating shared folders in Windows Server via the GUI method is very easy. To start, launch the Windows Explorer application. Once the Explorer app is open, find this PC section and click on it. After selecting this PC, choose either your local disk C or another drive. When selecting the hard drive you wish to use for sharing, right-click on an empty space and create a new folder. In this example, we'll create a folder named Shared Docs on a C root directory. Right-click on the folder and open Properties. Navigate to the Sharing tab. Now click on Advanced Sharing. This will allow us to enable the folder for sharing over the network. Check the box that says Share this folder. You can also change the shared name if you want, but by default, it will take the folder name as the shared name. Now let's click on permissions to set who can access the shared folder and what level of access they will have. You'll see that by default, everyone is listed with read permission. If you want to grant full control, you can select full control, but be cautious, this will allow users to modify, add and delete files. For better control, you can remove everyone and add specific user groups from your active directory. To do this, click add then type the name of the user or group you want to give permissions to, such as domain users, administrators or any custom security group. By default, all the users from your active directory domain is member of domain users group. So instead of everyone, I'm assigning domain users full control permission on this shared folder. Click apply and OK. Make sure to adjust the permission accordingly whether read, change or full control depending on what you need for that group. Again, click apply and OK. After setting up shared permissions, let's switch to the security tab to modify the NTFS permissions. NTFS permissions control access at the file system level and provide another layer of security. Click add it to modify permissions. Here, you can set permissions for individual users or groups in your domain. Click on Add. Type in the name of the group cells team and click Check Names. When the name results, click OK. Let's assign the full control allow permission to the cells team group for this shared folder. Be sure to configure these permissions carefully based on what level of access you want to give. Once you have set both the share and NTFS permissions, click Apply and then OK to apply the changes. Click on Close. Your folder is now shared, but let's do a quick check. From another machine on the network, simply navigate to double slash server name in File Explorer. If everything was configured correctly, you should see the shared doc folder and be able to access it according to the permissions you have set up. 
let's go to our windows 11 client computer where we have logged in using the user account of john doe open run menu type double slash dc01 and press enter you can see a shared folder with the name shared docs on our domain controller double click the shared folder to access its contents create a new folder and give a meaningful name a user john doe is member of sales team and has full access to the shared folder contents this user can write edit and delete files as well as create a folder in this shared folder this is the simplest method to create a shared folder in windows server 2025 there is another method to create a shared folder with advanced ntfs permissions which i'll cover in a future video you have successfully created a shared folder on your windows server 2025 domain controller remember sharing files securely is important so make sure your permissions are set up properly to avoid unwanted access. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for more IT tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.